Hey guys, today we're visiting the recently renamed Atlanta Regional Airport, founded originally as Peachtree City Falcon Field in 1968 by Joel Cowan, one of the original developers of Peachtree City, and home of the Commemorative Air Force Dixie Wing. The Commemorative Air Force was founded to acquire, restore, and preserve in flying condition a complete collection of combat aircraft which were flown by all military services of the United States and selected aircrafts of other nations for the education and enjoyment of present and future generations of Americans. More than just a collection of airworthy warplanes from the past, the CAF's fleet of historic aircraft known as the CAF Ghost Squadron recreate, remind, and reinforce the lessons learned from the defining moments in American military aviation history. The Dixie Wing was approved as the 83rd CAF unit on February 28, 1987 and has since displayed its collection of vintage World War II aircraft in numerous air shows throughout the Southeast. Currently in restoration is the Bell PA-63 King Cobra Model 24 was a United States fighter aircraft developed in World War II from the Bell P-39 Area Cobra. Although the aircraft was not accepted for combat use by the United States Army Air Forces, it was successfully adopted by the Soviet Air Force. The CAF team had been working on the King Cobra for about 13 years and it's anticipated to be completed within a year's time. This is the Nakajima B-5N Carrier Born Torpedo Bomber, or Kate. This specific aircraft was designed for the 1970 movie Tora Tora Tora. The Kate was the standard torpedo bomber of the Imperial Japanese Navy, the IJN, for much of World War II. Primarily a carrier-based aircraft, it was occasionally used as a land-based bomber. One of the most recognized of the Japanese World War II aircraft was that of the Mitsubishi A6M0. It was operated by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service from 1940 to 1945. We're looking at the Fairchild PT-19, which was used as a trainer aircraft that served with the United States Army Air Forces, RAF and RCAF during World War II. The Aranka L-16 was the United States Army Liaison's aircraft. It saw extensive service during the Korean War. The CAF crew acquired this 1942 Chevy from its original owner who had purchased it in 1942. The North American Aviation T-6 Texan was a single-engine advanced training aircraft used to train pilots of the United States Army Air Force, United States Navy, Royal Air Force, and other air forces of the British Commonwealth. The United States Navy called it the SNJ. The British Commonwealth Air Forces called it the Harvard. Next we have the Ford GPW, which was manufactured from 1941 to 1945. The small four-wheel drive utility vehicles are considered the iconic World War II Jeep. The Sperry Ball Turret, meant for ventral defense needs on aircraft, was used on both the B-17 Flying Fortress and the B-24 Liberator. In addition to the rare flying World War II and Korean warplanes on display at the impressive hangar of the Dixie Air Wing, there is a room dedicated to the display of artifacts and memorabilia of the wars of the U.S. in the last century. Several cabinets display finely crafted plastic models of Allied and Axis warplanes of the last century. This collection was crafted by the late James McConnell of Big Canoe, Georgia and donated to the wing by his widow Betty. A large collection of World War II toys is on display donated by Mr. Richard McNary. On display at various points in the museums are mannequins wearing the authentic uniforms of World War II. The centerpiece of the museum is a 10-foot model of the USS Enterprise CVA-6. It's the most decorated U.S. warship of World War II and veteran of all but two major battles. It is displayed with scale models of U.S. carrier aircraft of World War II. The model is a stunning display of creativity and attention to detail. You could easily spend 20 minutes taking in all the model has to offer, and it really does spellbind the imagination. For my Battlefield subscribers, I have to admit it was pretty neat seeing this authentic Russian Mosin Nagant. Various cabinets contain weapons and gear of American, British, French, Russian, German, Italian, and Japanese military services. Here we see a nice German K-98 Mauser rifle above a model of the infamous Bismarck, which launched in 1939. A unique item in the Dixie Wing collection is this Royal Air Force designed baby gas mask. They were intended to protect the little Brits from possible poison gas attacks during the war. The collection of items in this modest museum is quite impressive. 
It seems they have arranged a fairly far-reaching scale of memorabilia and authentic items that quaintly complements the snug little section of the main hangar. These German postage stamps, along with those of the Allied nations, serve to illustrate the oftentimes overlooked subtle details of ordinary life. The Dixie Airwing is anticipating the return of their Corsair and Mustang, which are in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Once they've arrived, I'll cover them in another installment. Another of the hangars is often used for movie shoots to include segments of The Walking Dead, which is filmed here in various local towns. Thanks for watching.